Timo have expanded their range of the C3 series of hand grinders with two new variants, the C3S and the C3 Espresso. Let's take a look at them. Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and on this side here, I've got the new variants of the C3 series of hand coffee grinders by Time More. You got the C3S and the C3 Espresso. Now, on face value, they look quite similar across the whole series because they are quite similar. It is very subtle differences. Now, when Time More released the C1, then the C2 and the C3, they've been listening to feedback along the way. And one of the feedbacks on the C3 range was they hold 20 grams of coffee and people wanted to hold a little bit more coffee. So what Timo have done is they've actually re-engineered the grinder by changing the materials, but without changing the size of the grinder, which felt quite right. So you got 147 mils in height and 52 mils in diameter. That hasn't changed, but what's changed is on the original series here, the C3 and the C3 Pro, it's made of aluminium, stainless and plastic. So inside, you had a bit of plastic that created the support with an aluminium body. Now, on the new ones, they're made purely of aluminium and stainless steel with no plastic. And what that meant is they've been able to reduce some of the supports here to increase the internal size. So now they're holding 25 grams of coffee versus 20 grams. On face value, very small difference, 25 grams versus 20, but it's actually been kind of re-engineered to be able to do that from listening to feedback. Now, they've also taken a few little things from the Chestnut X and X Lite, things like the silicon base here. Now, this base is only something minor, but when you're putting down the grinder, it really does feel different, both from a noise, like, but also from a feel, it just feels a lot sturdier when you're putting down the grinder. It's just something nice. So what they've done, they've got the C3 and C3 Pro, and now on this side, they're charging just a little bit more money, but creating a little bit more value. So now you really can choose if you wanted a budget-friendly grinder or something a little bit more premium. Holds more beans, feels a little bit nicer. When it comes to burrs, they're running the same burrs across the range. 38 mil conical hardened stainless steel, with a spike to cut burr, which they've named the 660. Now this was a burr that started off in the Chestnut X, the top of the line grinder, as a spike to cut 860, which was a little bit wider in diameter. They basically shrunk the diameter and brought it into this grinder. So they're bringing out their patent latest technology of the top of the line products and bringing it down. Same thing when you saw it this handle, the fold up handle, come out in the Nano and the Chestnut X, now you have it in the C3 series. You're seeing these burrs that came out in the X now come into the C3 series. And that's really nice where you're seeing developments on the top of the line filter through to the mass market and affordable hand grinders. Now when I say mass market and affordable, Time or really has this notion, they wanna bring beautiful coffee and beautiful products to as many people as possible so people can enjoy beautiful coffee moments. So it actually is really cool that you're seeing this evolution, but they haven't completely lifted the price point. They're giving people options and just creating a series rather than a whole bunch of new models constantly. And now looking at the differences between the C3S and the C3 Espresso, once again, it's a very subtle difference. The main difference is only the dial plate. Effectively, on these grinders, it runs the same dial plate as you have here with 12 notches of movement. So every revolution, you've got 12 notches of dial in. When on the C3 Espresso, it's got a CNC dial plate, which allows for 30 notches of revolution. So that means you really have that more control, more smaller movement. So for espresso, it makes a big difference. So if you're primarily espresso focused, you definitely get the C3 espresso. In saying that, you can still do filter on it. And on the C3S, you can still do espresso, but this grinder definitely is more focused to espresso. The burrs remain the same, it's just the ability to dial in further. And what we're gonna do now is actually do an espresso out of the C3 espresso and do a filter coffee out of the C3S. So we're gonna do an espresso out of the C3 espresso. It makes sense, this is an espresso focused grinder. So we're running a spike to cut 38 mil conical burr. So what this does, it actually spikes the burr or crushes it before it cuts it and it's giving it a lot more grind consistency. And obviously with the dial plate allowing for small nuances of 30 clicks per revolution, it made it really easy. We pre-dialed this in, so to re-dial, let's run the shot. It's 
It's really nice to see how hand grinders have evolved. These days, these grinders are pulling shots out of these machines. They're quite comparable to grinders at a lot bigger cost, electric grinders. So it's really impressive to see. This coffee has got really nice body, really nice texture. Tastes good and with, out of a vibrating pump machine, so I'm very impressed. Now, that was out of the C3 Espresso. We're gonna use the C3S to do some filter coffee and see how that works. But you could have done filter out of the Espresso as well. Once again, really nice out of the C3S. Really nice clarity, it really is a nice filter coffee. Always impresses me just how much you can get out of these grinders, especially at this price point. So when it comes to Time More, I am a bit of a fanboy. I really like their brand story and the products they've been building. They're all beautifully designed, beautifully built, and something simple that's not normally spoken about, the unboxing experience is also beautiful. All the packaging of all Time More products really is nice. There's something about the holistic approach of buying a product, receiving it, opening it up, your first use, it's how it makes you feel. And these products from Time More make me feel good. It's something that's hard to explain in words, but it's more of a feeling that you get. And I really like how they've expanded the C3 series to really cater to different demographics from really affordable, really well-produced grinders to more portable grinders, to grinders that feel a little bit more prestigious, a little bit more well-built, to grinders that focus on espresso. They've really covered a large range in one series of grinders. And obviously they've got different ranges of grinders. These are the C3, but they've got the Nanos, the Slims, the Chestnut X. It really is a very nice range of products. For me though, the question becomes, which grinder would you pick? Personally, I really like the C3 Espresso. I drink a lot of espresso and the feel of that grinder really is nice. But let me know in the comments below, which of these grinders would you choose? And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.